Hey, what's going on? Nick Unsworth here, and I'm a kick business coach, and I'm on an absolute mission to help you find your purpose in life, to help you love what you do for work every single day, to help you be the rock star that you are meant to be, to make more money than you ever thought was possible, and to have more time freedom so you can actually enjoy the life that you're living. I'm here to help you set your life on fire. Hey, what's going on, guys? Nick Unsworth here, and um, so today's gonna be really cool uh, for quite a few different reasons. So um, first, I wanted to share just a little bit of an update about what's going on and the kind of behind the scenes of Life on Fire because you guys have been our faithful and loyal audience, and I just really want to first and foremost just say a huge thank you for that. Um, we've gotten just tons of reviews on you know the Life on Fire TV, and we also have Pay It Forward Friday that we do. So. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to say a huge just thank you because um, what's really exciting is that we've actually been starting to see some really great financial rewards back. And I know for you, for you, it's like, you know, it, this doesn't pertain to you, but for any of you guys that are interested in, in starting a podcast, I think this is just kind of cool to hear. So we haven't been on iTunes that long, but what's really cool is that because we're putting out you know cool content we've got some really exciting stuff coming out i think people you know uh, are seeing our just our desire to help and our desire to create success stories and we've had folks just literally going to lifeonfire.com and to our coaching tab and we've had folks that have just applied online for our highest level coaching packages that are buying courses without us having to do webinars or anything like that and so like literally from revenue, we've got three elites. Those are $36,000 a year clients that have come in from the show. And we really haven't been outwardly trying to sell and we haven't been um, really pushy on these things. We don't do sponsorships or reads like many podcasts that you see. So um, so that's really cool. And I think um, I just wanna say a big thank you for you know your reviews. I wanna thank you for your support or any comments on our, on our blog. And, uh, and also just for sharing it. You know, we've had quite a few folks that are sharing Life on Fire TV and episodes with friends. So a big, big thank you for that. Um, number two, as far as an update, is we've got some exciting, really exciting stuff coming down uh, the pipeline because um, we're doing a, a virtual telesummit. These are, think of it as uh, 25 um, podcast episodes, but all done where we're all going to be, you know, live hanging out on a, on a website page with a feed with comments. And we've got speakers like Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank. We've got Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, we're going out and we are um, joining a mastermind that Sir Richard Branson is a part of, right? So it's crazy. So we're trying to get Sir Richard Branson. We're going out and we're going big. And it's our mission to bring some of these big monster players to the table, but also folks that are at different levels that are just like you and I, that are entrepreneurs that are making it happen at a small level. And so what's cool is we've got that event that's coming up in September. And so just so that you know, we've got just some monstrous things that we're bringing to the table with Life on Fire TV. And right now, you know, I'm uh, we're pouring a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of money and resources into this for you guys. But this is just, this is only the beginning. And I'm excited that with what we've got coming up, we've got just just absolutely huge things coming up. Um, so just other things to keep in mind. Um, you may want to flip over to lifeonfire.com, click on the events tab. Uh, we have got a mastermind that's in September, that's coming up September 12, 13, 14. We've got uh, an elite mastermind for our elite clients, November 7, 8, 9. We've got a three-day event in San Diego, December 5, 6, 7, that we are investing heavily in. Um, we're literally putting in over 150 grand for the production of this event because it's gonna change lives. We're gonna break through fears, we're gonna create plans, we're gonna help you set your business and life on fire, and we're doing a fire walk. So we're gonna be marching around on hot coals and doing a fire walk. And so it's just gonna be an awesome, crazy, amazing time. So those are just a couple updates. And for today, what I want to dive into is the question about what are you doing on Facebook marketing that's working so well? Uh, we literally, because my background's in Facebook marketing, I get questions all the time about what's working today. Are um, fan pages becoming a waste? You know, Facebook has taken away our ability to reach all of our likes or our fans or followers. You know, is it, you know, is, are the times shifting on Facebook? And there's all these questions, and yet Facebook still continues to be the number one way that we build our brand that we build our influence, that we build our authority, our likes, our list, and our customers. And it's not about us. 
this is what we teach to help you guys, right? And so it is still the number one way to, to grow a business. And so what we're finding, um, some things that we're seeing on our side is that yes, Facebook advertising is still crushing. Number two, having a content strategy is very, very impactful, very helpful because with a content strategy, we're getting engagement on the page. Now, it's not phenomenal engagement, but we are seeing that in organic growth and we are bringing in sales with our organic growth. And so that's really encouraging. And these are things that we're seeing, you know, this month, last month, this is not outdated stuff, right? So Facebook is still continues to be the big opportunity. And what I wanted to also just kind of end this intro, if you will, with is that um, what I've got for you guys here today is a video clip from Brian Moran. So if you saw our last podcast episode, Brian Moran shared information about the Facebook marketing funnel. And so this is something where if you haven't watched that episode, definitely go back and check it out. If you have watched it, definitely stay tuned and really plug into what he's gonna share because what Brian is about to share on this video is exactly how he's making over $15 per Facebook like or follower, however you like to think about him, right? And so what's interesting about that is just imagine what would happen if you're earning that kind of revenue per like on your page. And so while some people are saying that likes are becoming less value, valuable, Brian Marin, because he's got such a solid and tight system and funnel that he's not only able to help do it for himself and build a $5 million plus business, but he's coached thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs just like you, just like I, to do it as well. So I have a background in Facebook marketing. I've got my own experience, ran an agency, crushed it with this business for myself and for clients. And Brian Moran is a guy that him and I swap ideas. He is a guy that I really, really respect. And I would never, ever, ever, ever bring someone to this podcast if I didn't believe in them. And so what's cool is that I want you to dive into this video, see the process that he has, and he's gonna lay out and reveal how he's doing the Facebook marketing funnel, and it's not complicated. And so the action item after that is to just to do it. You know, so if you've been plugging in with us to just take action and just to do the strategy that he's sharing with you guys, he's gonna break it down in a really simple way and plug into the series. This is a little bit of a different month for us where um, we're, I'm really excited to highlight Brian Moran and his company because he's helping so many people. And I look at it and say, how do I add the most amount of value for you? And that's with our teachings, that's with interviews that we're doing to inspire, but it's also, there's, a, there's some cases where bringing in a Brian Moran and, and having, you know, ultimately we're gonna end up having four videos from Brian. I believe in the guy, I've seen his work, seen his results, we're tight friends, and I know that he can help you. So definitely be prepared to take some notes on this episode, it's a little bit of a different Wednesday episode for us, and um, be sure to share some feedback. It's lifeonfire.com slash 55, and that's, the, that's gonna be the show notes for this particular episode, and resources as well. So just maybe jot that down now, or think about it, lifeonfire.com slash 55. And I'll catch you guys at the end. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Brian from Get 10,000 Fans, and I wanna welcome you back to the Fan Page Funnel. And in just the last video, I shared my journey from a paper shredding factory to a business with over 350,000 followers. And I revealed exactly what all those fans are really worth to my business. And I've been completely blown away by the response to our last video. And P.S. If you haven't watched that video yet, go back and do that now and you can see the hundreds of comments that started flooding in towards the end. But now it's time for me to let you in on a little secret that I've been closely guarding for three years. Because in this video, I'm going to walk you through the marketing funnel I accidentally discovered five years ago, reveal how you can set up each step of this funnel in just a few days if you use the right tools to do it, so that you can quickly monetize any source of traffic online and turn clicks into fans, leads, and customers, and do it all on autopilot while you do the things that you love doing, just like thousands of our students like you are still doing every day. But listen, I know what you might already be thinking. I've tried Facebook for my business already and it never worked. Well, here's the truth. Most of what you're being told about how to market on Facebook is flat out wrong. So many businesses out there are hiring social media experts who do nothing but post funny status updates, tweets, or videos up on YouTube. And they aim solely for getting more likes, more comments, or more shares of that content. And six months later, the owner of the business, most likely you, is left wondering, did this even work? So listen, making Facebook, or any social platform for that matter, isn't just about how to engage users. It's about knowing what to do with those users once you've engaged them. 
Because what good is a fan page full of fans if you're not able to turn them into customers? And here's one of our favorite sayings around the office, that fans don't keep you in business. Customers do. And that's the truth, and it's one of the biggest mistakes people make when looking to go market on social media, or Facebook in particular. And no, I'm not talking about bashing your followers over the head with sleazy sales tactics or hyped up copy. Because those tactics are dead. And the marketers, aka assholes that use them, are long gone. Because in today's world of social media, people see right through that crap, which is actually an advantage for you. Because most likely you didn't form this dream you have because you wanted to mislead people. And if you did, please stop watching this video right now. That dream inside you is in there because you actually want to help people. You want to improve their current situation. You want to give them answers. And you want to get paid for doing it. And that's exactly why using Facebook as a marketing tool is so damn powerful. Because those are the kinds of stories that people share. Those are the kinds of stories that people rally around. And when people start seeing you or your business as someone who provides value to them, someone who improves their situation, someone who gives before they ever expect anything back, that's when your sales go through the roof. If you have a funnel that leads them to buy. Which is exactly what I'm about to outline for you. Introducing the fan page funnel. And like we mentioned in video one, this is the exact funnel that we set up for all of our businesses. And it's how we both build a relationship with our list, generate a huge following on Facebook, and help all of those fans become paying customers by the end of the process. And here's the truth. This is my best kept secret. It's the single greatest asset behind every single business I own and operate. And you might be thinking, well, I've heard all this before, I already have an opt-in page set up, or I have a basic marketing funnel already in my business. Well, the truth is, if you're not making the amount of sales that you want right now, something in your funnel is broken, period. So pause this video, grab a pen and paper because I'm gonna outline my exact funnel and walk you through step by step. Because while the enrollment for the new fan page funnel program won't be open for a few more days, I want you to learn something that you can implement today. Something you can take action on right now and something you can go see results almost instantly with. So let's dive in. Step one of this fan page funnel is called the fan page squeeze. And this is really what separates out our funnel from most of our competitors. And to illustrate what a fan page squeeze is, let me show you my first business, trainbaseball.com. And this is actually a custom tab that I built for this fan page. You can see it's inside Facebook. And we send all of our visitors to this tab through sharing content on Facebook, through Facebook ads, through banners from our blog, and from our newsletter. However we can get traffic, we send them all here. And when someone clicks on the show me video two button, the little email opt-in box pops up and encourages the user to opt in, enter their email address and get the next video in the series. So it seems a lot like a normal opt-in page, right? Well, let me show you why this page performs three times better than normal opt-in pages. You see a normal opt-in page like the one on the left, which is actually for the same business, gets a typical 20% opt-in rate. So if we send 100 visitors to this page, we get 20 opt-ins or 20 people on our email list for a 20% conversion rate. Not bad. It's actually above average when it comes to marketing online. The only problem with this old way of looking at things is 80% of those visitors that you might have paid for, you created videos for, or you spent hours doing SEO for, 80% of those visitors are gone forever. They're never coming back to your site unless you pay or work your butt off again to get them back. And on the flip side, this Facebook squeeze page, because of the like buttons up at the top and throughout the template on this actual squeeze page, encourages your visitors to become a fan and opt into your email list. And the rate at which they do that is pretty astounding. You see, if we send 100 visitors to this page, not only does our opt-in rate go from 20 to 30% because our opt-in page is now inside the trusted environment of Facebook, we're getting 70 of those 100 visitors to become a Facebook fan just by clicking the like button, which means we're getting a total conversion rate of over 70%. And a lot of those visitors, we're getting them to become a fan and opt into our email list. You see, we're actually building two lists at once. We're growing a massive email list and we're building an even bigger following on Facebook for free. You see, the way this works is when visitors come to this fan page squeeze, the first thing they go to is that like button. By now, everyone's familiar with that like button and they know how easy it is to like and support brands on Facebook. And if you're delivering good content on this fan page squeeze, we're seeing 60, 70, and 80% of our traffic clicking like and becoming a fan of our pages. 
And the next thing they're instructed to do is opt in for the next video or for whatever free content we're giving them, which means that not only are we getting them to like our page, we're getting them to opt into our list at the same time. You see, because of this tactic, we now have two places to reach our prospects, two places to deliver value and two places to generate sales. Because think about it, if you're just focusing on building your list, you can reach your entire list in their inbox by sending them high quality emails that deliver content and then hopefully sell your products. But by sending everyone through a fan page squeeze, you now can not only reach them in their inbox, you can reach them on Facebook where they hang out for over 30 minutes a day at the same time. And the funny part is, you've probably heard all the craze these days about retargeting, which is just an expensive way to bring people back to your website after they've already left. Well, the truth is, if you set up your funnel this way, you can actually retarget them with your own status updates on Facebook for free. But you might be thinking, you can't reach your fans for free anymore. Facebook makes everyone pay for advertising. And sorry, but I have to be blunt, because that's absolute bull. And to prove it, here's a test we ran just the other day. We put a status update out to all of our fans and generated over 152 clicks of that bit.ly link, which led to 70 new subscribers on our email list. And we did it all for free. No ads were used to promote or boost that status update. You see, the bottom line is, every time I post to any fan page I own, I get free traffic. And the beauty is, you can post to a fan page all day long. Try emailing your list four times a day and see what happens. I promise you the results won't be pretty. And now that Facebook's gone public, it's getting even better for business owners like us. Because we're getting even more tools to reach our fans than ever before. Tools like cheap ads, boosted posts, viral offers, custom audiences, and the list goes on and on. We'll cover a few of those in the next video, and we'll show you how you can use two of them specifically to get crazy cheap traffic that converts at 200% higher than normal. So look, here's the bottom line. Your fan page is a business asset. It establishes you as an authority. It provides ironclad social proof. It's 100% free to set up. It requires no tech skills whatsoever. And it even lowers your ad costs. And in our experience, fan pages produce more valuable customers. All because you're operating within Facebook's trusted environment. You see, this is just part of the reason why all of my businesses have been on Facebook since 2010, and I won't be leaving Facebook anytime soon. So you might be wondering, well, what happens after they opt in or become a fan? And that leads us to step number two, which is the content page. You see, the content page looks exactly like this. It's just a standard page that has a video or a blog post or an article or a PDF, however you want to deliver your content that you promised them on the fan page squeeze. You see, that's why they gave you their email address because they wanted something that you have. So this page is just the content page. It's where you deliver the good content and you give them the ability to buy your products after they're done digesting that content. You see, the purpose of this page is simple. Number one, deliver great content. And ours are usually delivered through videos, which are always easily digestible. You see, and this is one of the big keys here. You don't want your content to be a 400 page book or a 37 minute video. You wanna give quick, easily digestible, great content to your visitors. Something they can implement right away and get results from so that they're ready to move to the next step. And number two, you wanna provide your visitors with an opportunity to buy something awesome. And you do that with the link right below your content. You see this link right below this video actually takes them to a sales letter for a $10 report where they can continue learning more about what I talked about in the video. And remember, if you deliver on the promise you made them in step number one, they're going to be ready to go even further with you. So keep moving them through the funnel. And the next step in the funnel, if they click that link below your content, is the sales page. And here's an example of where we would send our visitors right now. And this is just a long form sales page that goes on for a few pages and lets them know about the product that we have ready for them. But if there's one element of nearly every struggling marketer out there that is done wrong, it's the sales page. You see, here's a terrible example. But before I show you this example, you have to promise me you won't tell this guy that I said his sales page sucks. And here's a look at it. And this is what a lot of struggling marketer sales pages look like. It's just a catalog page. It's a typical e-commerce style setup that has a picture of a product, a little short description, maybe it says the price, and just has a little add to cart button that maybe takes them to PayPal or ClickBank or wherever you're taking orders. And they expect people to find these pages, be convinced with the short amount of text that tells them basically nothing about the product, and be willing to pull out their credit card and actually buy this product that they know nothing about. But here's the funny thing, this was actually my business. 
and that's my first sales page. You see, I made that page in August of 2010, before I even knew what a sales page was. And this page was actually the reason I didn't make a single sale until April of 2011. But don't worry, because if you would benefit from a plug and play, copy paste sales letter template, that's one of the many resources that you're gonna find inside of the fan page funnel. But even if you don't get into the program, there are tons of sales letters out there that are crushing it. And here's just one example. You probably heard of the Insanity Workout. And if you Google them right now, you can actually go find this webpage. And one of the things you'll notice is how long this sales letter is. It goes on for days, and there's a reason behind why it's so long. You see, the creators of the Insanity program want to make sure that you know everything you need to know about this product, so that by the time you get to the end, you're ready to take advantage of the offer that they're about to give you. And they make it almost impossible to say no. You see, this one sales page has already done tens of millions of dollars in sales. And it's right out there on the World Wide Web, waiting for you to study it, pick it apart, and learn from it. Because the same principles behind why that sales page converts so well apply to your business. It's not about slick graphics, big budgets, or genius writing. In fact, some of the ugliest sales letters out there are the ones that make the most money. Because it's about the story behind your product. And it's about the way that story is told. You see, I didn't learn this until over a year after I started online. And when I finally realized it was all about the story, it changed the way I marketed and the sales started rolling in. So the next step in the funnel is the autoresponder campaign. And this is what's triggered if they don't buy that initial offer. So do you want to set your business apart from the crowd? Write a world-class email follow-up campaign. And you might be asking, well, how do I do that? And the formula is pretty simple. You see, we follow the 80-20 rule. And what I mean by that is 80% of our emails that go out are based on content and 20% are based on pitching. So the bottom line is we're giving our email subscribers four times as much content as we are asking them to make a sale. You see, if you're using email to deliver more great content to your subscribers, they will love you and they'll come back to buy more of your stuff time and again. Now, I know there's tons of different philosophies out there around things like how often to send your emails, what to say in each email, how to write awesome subject lines, what services to use to send email, how and when to use webinars in your follow-up campaign, how long to follow up for, and sending autoresponders versus broadcasts. But I think we've pretty much nailed it on the head when it comes to all of this stuff, especially since our lead conversion campaigns are increasing sales by over 35%. So listen, we'll be handing you proven swipe files, tested subject lines, and complete follow-up calendars inside of the fan page funnel program. But if you wanna go do it on your own, just remember, use the 80-20 rule and deliver four times more content than you do ask for the sale. You see, if you stick to just this simple formula, your autoresponder campaigns will be world-class and they will bring people back to your site to buy again and again. So the next step is the checkout page and the special offers. And this happens after someone clicks the add to cart button on your sales page and begins going through the buying process. And the action really starts at our checkout page, and this is where somebody lands when they click on the Add to Cart or Buy Now button from our sales page. And setting up these checkout pages used to be pretty difficult, but we've actually recently released our own shopping cart called SamCart, and that's what we use to create these gorgeous checkout pages that convert really, really well for you. And this is a look at actually what our checkout pages look like. And again, we build these with our tool called SamCart. You can see it has the product description up at the top. It tells the customer what they're going to get, makes it really easy to fill out their name and email and their credit card information, and then place their order. The next step after the checkout page is the upsell pages. And with just a couple of these one-click upsell pages, you can literally double your business overnight. And again, we set up these pages with SamCart also, and this is what they look like live. You can see there's not much to it, really just a video up at the top that explains everything they need to know about this next product that you're trying to offer them, and then a buy button down below the video that will bill their credit card on file as soon as they click that button. So there's no need for them to go fill out their credit card information again. And that's the secret behind these pages. And that's why we use SamCart to do it because this feature is built right in. So again, if you guys are wondering how to get any of these tools, including SamCart and all the other tools that we use to set up this funnel, we put everything inside of a nice PDF for you and it's right down below this video for you to download. So have you ever heard the expression, one swallow does not a summer make? This is actually a quote from Aristotle in 320 BC. And he was saying that one sign of spring doesn't mean that the winter is already over. Well, I like to think that if Aristotle ran a business online, he would say one product does not a business make. Because here's the truth. Prolific businesses succeed. 
And what I mean by that is more products means more sales, period. Take these companies, for example. Number one is McDonald's. And their famous saying is, would you like fries with that? And what most people don't know is that one simple saying brings in over 80% of the profit that that company makes. Take Major League Baseball or any sporting event for that matter. When was the last time you walked into a stadium and walked out of that stadium spending the same amount of money you spent to get in? It just doesn't happen. Think about how much money you spend for concessions, upgrading your tickets so you can sit closer to the field, and buying souvenirs at every shop around the corner. And lastly, think of Apple. And I don't care whether you're an Apple fan or not, but imagine if they had stopped at just the Mac. If they had settled for just making the first Mac, there would be no iPhone, there would be no iPod, there would be no iPad, and the world would be a much different place. Not to mention, they probably would not be a very profitable company. So if you're not attempting to offer your customers more great products, you're leaving money on the table and a lot of it. So have you ever thought any of these statements? Well, I don't know what else to sell. I don't want to be too salesy and keep offering new products. Or my people don't want anything else from me. Well, all those statements are nonsense. And I know that because I thought the same thing. You see, back when I started my first business, TrainBaseball.com, I sat in my parents' basement in front of my computer trying to figure out what my second and third products would be. And here's what I did. I went to Amazon and looked up a book called The Science of Hitting. And it's written by Ted Williams, who's one of the best hitters of all time. And what I noticed was down below, Amazon was actually telling me what other products my customers were buying. And I noticed that they were buying products on the mental game of baseball, on how to pitch and how to run and how to throw, how to eat right for the sport of baseball and how to work out for the sport of baseball. And it was this little section that gave me an idea for tons of other products. So at the time, all I had was a $27 ebook called the 10 step complete hitter. And my problem was the most money a customer could spend at my site was $27 because that was the only product I had. So I got to work and I started creating tons of other products. And by the end of that process, if someone came to my site and bought everything I had, they could now spend over $250. And that's when that business first became profitable. You see, the next thing you might be saying to yourself is, well, I don't want to be too salesy. Well, here's the truth. If you don't feel good about letting your people know about the product that you're trying to sell them, you're selling the wrong product. And here's a quick question. Do you think Apple feels bad every time they reinvent the iPhone? Every time they release a new update? No. Why? Because what they're providing customers will change their lives. They believe in that product so much that they're willing to talk about it nonstop to make sure you know about it. You see, customers will actually thank you for creating more products for them. Because remember, you're not creating products, you're solving new problems. And when you focus on solving problems, you create great products that your customers actually want to know about. And the last thing you might be saying in your head is my customers don't want anything else from me. Well, here's another question. What's your favorite company out there right now? What's your favorite product? Go ahead and write that down. And the next question I want you to answer is, are you upset when they release a new version? Are you upset when a new model of your favorite car comes out or a new model of your favorite computer or phone? And are you angry when they let you know that that product's on sale or they're running a special promotion? Of course not. If the product is fantastic, people actually want to be marketed to. So you're probably starting to see why your funnel is such a valuable asset. Because it's not only giving you an amazing relationship with your followers by delivering them great content, it's actually selling your products for you in a way that your customers will love you for. And now with this final step, it's starting to increase the value of every customer that you ever get by letting them know about all of the other amazing solutions that you can offer them. So I know this was a lot to take in, and there's a lot more steps you can add on to this funnel that we just don't have time to cover in this short video, which is why I had our designer take this funnel and turn it into a nice PDF for you to download. And you can grab that download right below this video. So the fan page funnel program will be open for enrollment in just a few days, where we'll literally be giving away the blueprints behind all of our funnels, all of our squeeze pages and designs, all of our sales pages and our copy, all of our upsell templates and scripts, all of our follow-up emails, and the list goes on and on. And we're doing this so that you can copy-paste, or as close to it as possible, all of the work that we've already done, and make it work for your own business. But I have three kids, so I've got three oh, children. Nah. All right, there you go, yeah. <laughs> I teach full-time as, as a teacher, and on the side, I've got this dream of being an entrepreneur and creating my own, own little world, right. own little business, you know. So... Um, to be honest, I actually had built a list of about 680 people awesome. prior to the page funnel, mm -hmm. but that took me like 
oh man, that took me like five years and a lot, a lot of hard work. Right. And it was that time that Get, get 10,000 Fans the Fan Page Funnel cropped up and I, I watched the videos. And my biggest problem was I knew that there would be a, a price attached. And I'm more than willing to just find the money and, and put it on the table and do it. Um, but my wife knows that I do so many things. Right. That was going to be my biggest hurdle. Right. <laughs> so I, I put it to my wife and I put it to my business partner. I said, hey, look, I really think this is it. And I, I would never look back now. I would oh, never man. ever look back in, in doing those things and making life that much easier. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we pulled in, as of now, about $1,250 mm-hmm. in sales. And I get so excited every time my phone buzzes. Mm-hmm. I think it's like a little PayPal notification yep. saying, you've got paid. And I think, oh, man, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be out with my family and, and my phone's buzzing. I'm like, I think I just got paid. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good feeling. It's like, a really it's good feeling. It's a yeah. time, really good feeling. Um, and so it's, it's about $450 profit. Awesome. And that's been two weeks. And mm-hmm. my subscriber base is now 1,150 people. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah. Like two weeks. Awesome. Wow. Oh. Two weeks worth of work and the same. Uh, how long did you say it took you to get to that, that original 700 or so that you had before? Oh, man, that took a, a couple of years. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah. There was one thing that you were going to say, um, you know, even to somebody looking to buy the fan page funnel course, somebody who's sitting on the fence or something like that, you know, this is – the one thing you you got to have it for this reason, you know, what would you say? Fan page funnel makes it so clear. You can spend like I did for a long time. You could spend one, two, three, four, five years trying to figure this out on your own because you want to save a bit of money, um, or you can invest right here, right now, whatever it costs to get the fan page funnel to have it laid out for you. To have people already have made the mistakes um, rather than you spend five years making mistakes, right. that's that's the road I took. Um, and finally, just um, eating a bit of humble pie and and uh, investing into education um, saved me a lot of time, a lot, a lot of time. And the result speaks for themselves. Two weeks worth of results, and, and that's only two weeks. It's just laid out for you. And it's as simple as just just follow the system, um, and that's what it is. It's a system, and systems work. They're they're tried, they're proven, they're tested. Um, I, I'm living proof for that, as as many others are probably living proof of the, the fan page funnel. Um, and I, I I have no regrets, no regrets. Put it this way: the money that's um, come back to us. Not counting the the money I bet I would have had to invest in Facebook ads anyway, mm-hmm. but the money that's come back to us has now paid off the fan page funnel. Awesome, but that's you know that's that's not an expense anymore. Yeah, it's, it's paid off itself in two weeks. Yeah, in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. In two weeks. Hopefully, much much more than that. Yeah, many well, many well, times. We sell a one um, hundred ninety seven dollar product, and <clears throat> we typically sell uh, via webinars. Most of our training is is delivered via via webinars. So, um, you know, Brian was kind of convincing me or saying, hey, it would be a great idea to have some lower, you know, price point products to bring in more customers into your funnel and then send them into, you know, different products in your sales funnel. So, so on the um, actual $10 report, we've sold 183 units, which amounts to um, $1,830. And with the $97 course upsell, We've sold um, four thousand four hundred sixty-two um, dollars in that uh, revenue generated in that product, awesome. which is sixty-two ninety-two, six thousand two hundred ninety-two dollars. Awesome. In, in additional revenue, you know, like it doesn't sound like a lot, you know, because, but for us, it's a huge win because we, it's an extra sixty-two hundred dollars that we didn't do right. any additional work. We didn't spend any money in ad traffic to sure. promote it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like yesterday, we probably had five sales of the ten dollars report. Awesome. It's something that's ongoing. We we implemented it a couple months ago, but the more that we increase our our Facebook ad spend and are growing our business, the better this. This is just another offer. It's another awesome. entry into. Also, we oh, yeah. we also I gotta throw this out there. We also 
because I love you guys so much. <laughs> we, uh, um, so I, I, you know, we wanted to test out, you know, more of a higher ticket offering cause we've never done that to our list. Right. And, um, it's very interesting because anybody that's watching this, all you have to do is really follow what, you know, your whole product launch that you're, you know, uh, launching with the fan page funnel, because this is something that you're doing and you're teaching, but we sent out one email to a list. I literally copied the email from Brian. He's like, do this. Copy, copy this. <laughs> it out. One, it was one email. Control C, one control email. V. Yeah. yeah. Do a survey. And sending that, that out just to a small customer list, sent it out to about, um, it was funny. I sent it out to two customer lists. One was an old customer, one was a new one, and all the results came from the 1,500 uh, person new customer list. But oh, we cool. ended up doing, closing uh, $25,000 in business just from the one email and making a couple phone calls to talk to the people oh, on dude, the phone. Oh, dude, that's nothing. Uh, man. Five, five clients. Awesome. Dude, I tack it right on, man. That's freaking, that was a good day for you guys. Until you actually try something, you know, you're, you know, you're not going to get, see any results. Yeah, hundred percent. Trying new things. Yeah, hundred percent. Awesome. Yeah, if they want to check out what we're doing right now and what we're really implementing, what we're going to talk about today, it's handcraftedbusinessfilms.com. We ran the ads, and at six o'clock at night, we could have zero leads. At two o'clock in the afternoon, the following day, we would uh, do the do the webinar, and we'd have like nine hundred leads. We'd have like four, five hundred people show up. And, uh, and so not only are you finding people, but you are clearly finding the right people. And targeting it, right? Yeah. Which, you know, again, learning from you guys and then building a list. So we were building, we actually built Spreecast followers. We built our fan page. We built an email list and we built customers. And we, we delivered massive value on that webinar. And we would be spending the money on the ads. And that, that next day we'd be profitable. We built up a list of almost 10,000, actually almost 12,000 now email addresses. So 12,000 email addresses. We've got uh, 8,400 likes on our fan page, and we've got about 600 customers. You're spending money to build this list. You well, guys have built big, a list of 10,000 in about four months. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so now we can send out an email and do $12,000 of sales of pure profit. But you just yeah. got to test and tweak, but you can start small. I mean, a lot of guys start talking 10, 20 bucks in a day, and if you do it right and you follow your you know, formula right. and, and don't deter and try all these millions of different things. Just do it, you know, just follow the steps. Uh, For me, it's just like, just give it a try. And I know you guys stand beside behind your stuff and, it, and guys reach out to, to me if they haven't gotten a hold of you, if they won't <laughs> get back to you, but no, but I mean, you know, you guys have huge hearts after getting out to hang out with you guys. I mean, you know, the people who have gotten to even personally interact with you, like, you know, I went to the live event. I mean, the people love you guys. You guys get big hearts, deliver massive value. So follow what they're saying because what people will fail is if you guys, I know not all of you will have the privilege to have one-on-one, -on -one, but I know that what's in the course, I've seen the course and everything. It's very similar to what I got personalized, you know, but at the same time is I went and I took massive action. You guys can buy every course known to man and from them or even other people, if you trust them more, it doesn't matter. Like if you don't take action and do what someone says, you will get no results. Definitely. I went back last year and what took us a year and a half to make, we made in six weeks because I went back and implemented exactly what these guys, what you guys told me to do and we got results. And I mean, that's the big thing. So many people will go through, that's called a six week course. They're going to go through two weeks. They stop, they take no action. They're pissed off at you because they didn't get any results. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who are they pointing fingers at? Yeah. But listen. This course is not meant for everyone. This stuff takes actual work. It's not meant for people looking for the easy way to make millions online, and it's not meant for people who aren't willing to sacrifice their time now for their freedom later. Boom! How do you like that? So that strategy is money. I hope you really enjoyed that episode, and I just wanna definitely encourage you, you know, whether you're driving, whether you're at your computer, on your phone, you might be jogging on a bay like this, whatever it may be, um, you can grab the show notes for this episode at lifeonfire.com slash 55. We're also going to have some resources. And this is the month of Facebook marketing because, like I said at the beginning, Facebook marketing radically changed my life. It's changed the lives of literally hundreds of our clients. In Brian Moran's case, it's changed the lives of literally over a thousand customers. He's coached thousands and thousands of customers, and he's got success stories like freaking crazy. Um, so at the end of the day, it's like, 
take that passion you have, take the purpose that you have. You've been watching, you know, hopefully you've been watching you know, Life on Fire TV for a while and that's shaping your mindset and you're saying, you know what, I do need to just get started and pick my passion and go for it. Or maybe you're already in business and it's like, all right, I need to take it to the next level. And so just take what you learned here today, implement that stuff. If you have questions, plug in with us, plug in with Brian, you know, his, him and his team and company, we're here to help and support you. So go to lifeonfire.com 55, ask any questions and we will do everything in our power to answer them. Um, shoot, uh, you know, you name it, we'll help you. That's our whole mission with this. That's why we're doing all this. So just plug in with us and let us help you. And uh, you guys have a great rest of your day. And again, it's lifeonfire.com slash 55, and I will see you very soon. Cheers. I'm here to help you set your life on fire.